Number one, idle units. Always keep your units moving. If it's either gathering resources or scouting, I'm not saying your whole army needs to be constantly moving, but take Take a couple units, see what your opponent is building, gather some of those resources on the field, keep track of his army, and see what his composition is. That will always help, and that little things like that will give you all the information you need to successfully beat your opponent. If you have units like air type, like for instance we have a couple banshees and an engineer here, go ahead, harass, pick off some of those free units, and all these things distract your opponent from doing what he should really be doing is macroing his team his leader, whatever you want to say, macroing. So, as I said, that will help, and let's go ahead and move on to uh, tip number two. Number two, APM. Speed is crucial in any RTS. APM, otherwise known as actions per minute, may not be f as focused on as, let's say, StarCraft II. But anytime you're not doing an action, building a base, scouting, building units, is a moment where your opponent is getting ahead. Um, use those hotkeys, they will help you respond and be twice as fast and be more in control of the situation. As you can see here, I was using hotkeys going from my base to my units to my base to my units, as well as using the map, um, clicking on my items. But as I go here, I've been doing another good way to warm up is to do hockey shuffling as you can see I have my two units in hockey number one hockey number two and a good way to warm up and get comfortable with that is at the beginning of every match just spam them. spam one two one two one two for a PC that is um, just to get in, just to get in the habit of your hotkeys and know where your units are and that way you're well prepared number three learn your hotkeys now this is overlooked a lot of the time and some people will say you don't need your hotkeys, but they are wrong. There's no better way than to move around the map than your hotkeys. Well, except for the minimap, understandably, you can move around the minimap really easily, but to specific units for a quick response, if you need a response right away, use your hotkeys. Now, it's different than it, it's different on PC than it is on Xbox, but look them up, figure them out. You on PC, you can change the layout for instance I use tab instead of Z for base shuffling it's just a lot easier for me and then just setting my hot unit hotkeys another thing to keep an eye on is always use them for in battles keep your key units on separate hotkeys for instance you want to have your engineer or your shroud on different hotkeys so you can activate their special abilities or blister pack so you can siege Kodiak so you can siege just remember guys, please, please learn your hotkeys. It's going to make you a 10 times better player, a lot faster, a lot smoother. So go ahead and learn those hotkeys. Number four, compositions. Make sure to learn what counters what. Remember, Halo 2 relies on paper, rock, scissors, mantra. Air beats vehicles, vehicles beat infantry, infantry beats air. But it is more complicated than that. With upgrades, for example, level 3 infantry can take on a level 1 air. A well-balanced army is always better than a single pylon army. But remember, see what your opponent is building. Make sure to scout. Count what their army is made of. Then be ready to switch again. Because once you killed off that army, guaranteed he's going to try to counter you. So always try to be one step ahead. And always to make sure you learn your compositions. Number 5. Upgrades. A lot of people tend to forget this, but it's so crucial. Upgrades when you move into tier 2, no reason you shouldn't start to upgrade your units. Unless you're rushing to tech 3, then okay, you got me there. But other than that, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You can have more units and a soft counter to your opponent, but if he has a well upgraded army, just grab the bottle and start drinking. Because he is about to send you home packing. So always guys, try to upgrade because... Upgrade costs energy, and usually the resource that you have the most of is energy if you have a well-generated supply. So always, guys, try to keep upgrading because if you don't, you're a guarantee your opponent's going to, and you're going to lose because of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the five tips to become a better Halo Wars 2 player. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe, check my Twitter and my Twitch with links below. Um, I'm thinking about doing some in-depth builds soon to come. That's debatable. We'll see how this is received. But as well, guys, I also stream, I, I Twitch stream Halo Wars 2, but I do other games, mainly fighting games. But I love RTSs. I've always loved RTSs since StarCraft 2. And that's actually why I started streaming when I started streaming back then. And so 
hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you guys on the next video.